like, it looks like a little hair dryer. Hey? Looks like a hair dryer. Yeah. <laughs> that does the job though. <clears throat> They're a bit wet, aren't they? No oh, yeah, because you've not used it before. Tony's trying to clear the leaves on this part of the courtyard. Oh, can't clear these at the moment because they're a bit wet. And the reason he's clearing the front of the barn here is because we're having a delivery this afternoon. We're finally going to get some more of this calcare, these stones, the local stones. So we can finish off out the back around my flower beds and top up where necessary out here. You're gonna have a problem with this time. Look at this wind. <laughs> as soon as you remove them, it's gonna blow more on there. I think you're just gonna to have to put a sheet down or something. Maybe. Well, we just have to pick the stones up and uh, and uh, pick the leaves out as we go along. We also have this on our recent trip to the UK. We managed to pick this up, which has been in storage at Tony's old workshop for some time now. Um, it came from a previous house. Tony made this, and it's beautiful when it's uh, standing up on a plinth. Um, but it needs a good clean up. Are you going to jet wash this? Scrub it with something, yeah? Yeah, it's been sitting underneath a tree. That's why it's got all this green stuff on it. Um, That'll clean up though, it's stainless steel, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see it up, but we've got to decide where we're going to put it. Not under a tree. Not under a tree. <laughs> That's a good idea. Not under a tree. But yeah, we shall see. <laughs> Suggestions on a postcard, please. Tony's going to make a plinth out of some of the timber that we've got left from making the raised beds, which he made that uh, planter over there out of. I might make it. Or something. That would look nice. So, what, so we can plant something around it. It used to be sitting in a big flower bed, didn't it? At our old house. Yes. I like that idea. So we don't want to park it in the middle of the courtyard because it will be in the way if we want to use vehicles in here or turn around. So are we thinking in the back garden? Maybe in the middle of the lawn, but not under the tree. Yeah. Okay. We will see. The problem with that is that a lot of our back garden will be under a tree at some point. Although it could go over there, I will see where the table and chairs are. It could go over there by the river. This patch here, this side of the barn. Um, so it would probably look quite good there in the middle of those two trees, but again, it's under a tree. Um, we need to build a big run in front of the bread oven house there for my chickens when, they, when we eventually get round to that. So we don't want to put it in the way of that. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe over there where the table and chairs are. Let's see what Tony thinks. This cockerel also recently came back as well. I love him. Tony didn't make this one, somebody else made it, but it's made out of <laughs> an old oil drum. <laughs> Rusty old bits of metal. It's not too pretty close up, but yeah, it's very clever. And he's also followed us around to various different houses. Yeah, I like him out here in the courtyard. I might move him eventually. Once we get our chicken run done, I might put him out in the back near the chickens. Deliveries arrived. I think we're having several of chop loads of this. <laughs> hey, it took us a while.
very satisfying watching that. <laughs> It only looks like a little tiny weenie pile, doesn't it? Yeah. For a truckload. How many truckloads are we getting? Four. Four truckloads, yeah. which is probably going to be enough, do you think? Okay. I'm thinking, is that going to cover around my, all around my veggie garden? Yeah, Let's hope. Right. <laughs> anyway, it's good. Something's happening. Tony's also been doing a few other jobs. Still to decorate in this one, but he has tiled the splash back. They've routed it. So that's another little job ticked off. Well, Tony's called me up to show me what he's been doing up in the upstairs bathrooms. He's working on the toilet at the end of the corridor here at the moment. Wow, you have been busy. So Tony's painted all the toilet out. We just painted it white for now, but it's lovely and bright. As he took the toilet out and painted all behind there. I'm still a bit patchy because it's still drying. But yeah, and he's put the fisherman picture on the wall. I love that, it looks really good there. And he's put the mirror and everything back and we're just going to work out where to put the towel rails and things. Always put the flooring down. That's nice and practical. You've just got to put some beading around the edge, haven't you? Well, you have been busy. Right, let's work out where we're going to put the towel rail. Now, what am I, what am I marking here? I'm marking where the holder is going? or Because yeah. you want to cover up my mark, don't you? I would put it there. Eesh. So, here. There we are. Tony's completely finished in here. He's then going to take the toilet from the other bathroom so that he can finish off in there. But I'll show you that another time. There we are. The throne room. Well, we've come to Shatterdorf. There's a new kebab shop that's opened up. Uh, with the bar next to it and we're going to meet up with Adam and Will because Deb's gone back to the UK so we're going to have our tea here tonight they've tried it before but we haven't it's the bar next to it's the new kebab place owned by the same people I think we deliver locally we're not quite as far as us it's quite a novelty. Merci. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, they've got quite a wide menu. We've ordered the kebab, normal kebab, which is usually a lamb donner, and it comes with fries. They're very reasonable prices as well. Or you can have the meat on a plate instead of in a instead of in a pizza bread. They also do burgers. And they also do buckets of chicken. Chicken wings. We're out the back of the kebab shop little bar in this amazing courtyard. What's behind here then? Have you had a nosy? No. Ooh, I'm liking the look of this. <laughs> it's like your secret tunnel that goes nowhere. Yeah. Quite a cool place to sit. Oh, yeah, it's like a little. Like a little cave. Cave. Oh, it's pretty. It also has like a little cellar with steps down. It's a little bit dark to see it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, they've all gone back inside. Yeah, well, interesting courtyard. Ah, uh, merci. Tony went to the Brico yesterday and came back with this because he's visited the Brock Hunt 
while he was in Chateau, and he's found this chest of drawers. Uh, a chest of drawers are quite unusual in France, don't see too many of those. So he's bought it, but it does need quite a bit of work. It's got a broken marble top and quite a lot of rot on the legs here. This is tipped upside down for the time being, so that he can see what he's dealing with. We've got some bowing here, we've got some loose bits on the other end there. So, Tony's going to be doing quite a lot of gluing and clamping. And then the legs at the back are shorter than the ones at the front, so they need some work. Is that a special type of glue you've got there, Tony? Just a wood glue? Just wood glue, yeah. Just a wood glue. Okay. So we've lifted it off the floor for the time being with some chocks of wood because it's got a trim around the edge of the top there, which takes the piece of marble. And we don't want to break that. I will gradually show you as he goes along and once it's finished. These legs, they've got fancy bits on the front of the legs, but as you can see, they're all about to fall apart. And there's a couple of bits that have already fallen off on this end. That one will fit back. We don't have the piece around the corner, so Tony may have to make something for that. And we think he's going to put new legs or a piece of wood across the back there, but he hasn't decided yet. That was also that was also meant to go on there. As you can see we've got all the drawers and that stacked up over there. We'll show you once it goes back together. So you're starting with the two sides. You're gonna clamp those overnight? Yes. Or okay. Oh, I see. You're just clamping it to that piece of wood. Is that one of the draw runners? Yeah. It's part of the bottom frame, yeah? Yeah. Oh. So, would you put little pins in that as well? That just be. glue would be should enough be for that. Too, yeah. Strong stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Just wrap off the glue that's squished out. Just the one clamp on that end? Yeah, Is that enough? Do, do okay, yeah, it seems to have squished it tightly together. And that goes clear when it dries, doesn't it, that glow? Yeah. All right. And the same on this end. Yeah, this one's a bit more, a bit more bent. Oh, why well, you put the glue in? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wedge it open first. Put a squeeze the glue in. Okay. Oh, you're doing the back as well. Oops. <laughs> so just a little bead of glue all the way around the edges. Yeah.
Yeah, well, it's going to hold that bit on the back there. Yeah, that'd be fine. Let's put it together, is it? Yeah. All right. No, oh, where's this one going? That's a big one. It's doing there. Oh. Oh, one completely along the back. Mm. Is that the plan? Yeah, I do. Just to hold this side piece together. It won't mark that wood, will it? Yeah. That's why it's got the soft bits on the ends. Oh, I see. So you're just doing it between the that piece of wood and that's joining the back together. Just hold it in place, yeah. That's it. Okay. So how long does it have to stay to, to uh, yeah, dry? 24 hours, I should be. 24 hours, right. So this time tomorrow, you come back and take it all apart. That's it. Okay. Are you going to do that bit now? Yeah, they've had glue as well, haven't they? Mm. Ah, we're going to number them so you know which is which. Yes. <laughs> so... From the outside round to the front. That's it. Oh, there's also some mouldings on the front. Are they coming off as well? Yeah. Are they loose? Yeah. Oh, it's like dismantling it, isn't it? Um. Yeah. Oh, it's actually quite solid, that one, although it doesn't line up very well. Oh, are you pulling all the old tacks out? Sorry, am I in the way? Mm -hmm. I recognise that little hammer. <laughs> That's my upholstery uh, gun. Ah, so they are all tacked on. Oh, it feels quite solid now. Yeah. It was just a little bit loose, so you just bashed the tacks back in. Tacked in the wood with another piece of wood. Tack that as well. And put some new tacks in. That's better. Okay, is it straightened it up? <coughs>
So are you going to make a piece for the other side? Probably. That's it. Tony's just been to fetch a chisel. And that's so that he can take off the old glue so that he gets a good fit. Is it a good fit now? Not bad. I've got some more clamps. So these two pieces that are on here, are they already fixed okay? Yeah. Or have you got to take those off? Yeah. Just this one that was loose, yeah? That's it. <clears throat> Now you're going to tack it, yeah? Yeah. The clamp fell off. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're tacking it between the two pointy bits, are you? That's it. Tacking one piece into the other and not onto the leg. This one's a bit more of a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? Mm. So that that will dry clear, will it, on there? We won't oh, see yes. that, will we? Yeah. Mm. What's, what's the problem? I didn't make a piece for this side. Ah. So the one piece that you have got... Is that the one? Yeah. What will you carve it out or? Cut it on a saw. Yeah. So if you don't put that one on then. Mm hmm. Ah. Upside down. <laughs> That's him. The opposite hand of that. Is that the width you need to cut?
So you made a rough cut on the saw. Yeah. And then you're just going to sand it down until it fits into place. That's very clever. Stick it on first and sand it on. Yeah. And then stain it, yeah? Yeah. And polish it. Oh, oh your clamp just fell off. Yeah, down there. Ah. That's very clever, though. Not oak, obviously. You do realise this means that I can buy lots more pieces of furniture with bits missing. Mm. <laughs> No, it's not oak. Do you, do you think that's made of oak? That look doesn't... Is this a veneer? Yeah. So there's a veneer on there because that's like a flame... Colour. It's like a... It's not an oak um, grain, is yeah. it? Which is a veneer, a thin veneer, but... You think the carcass is oak? It does actually look... Yeah. Yeah, it's quite heavy as well, isn't it? Obviously, this is pine, isn't it, you're using here? Yes. Well, that way you can dunk it in some stain, though, can't you? Oh, yes. And it is going to be around the side of the cabinet. Yeah. I'm sure it'll look lovely once it's finished. Much better than the missing part. So I'm just going to glue this one on now. Are you going to stain it once it's in place and then sand it once it's in place, yeah? Yes. Okay. Right. Is that your last bit you're gluing today? It might be uh, might be pub sign soon. Pub time? Yes. Ah. You mean you mean the uh, market bar? Yes. The commerce bar. Okay. You hold that there. Oh, it moved. It doesn't quite come to the point here, Tan. Does it need to come out slightly? Eh? There. No, because you, you put it back on the... No. Just <laughs> I've moved it, look. <laughs> Mind it fits better like that, look. That's I think I... Want... Yeah, I pushed it backwards, I yes. think, by mistake. Right, that's okay. where it's got to go, yeah? Perfect. There won't be any weight on that bit, will there? No, not much. Not much. That's oak, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's hard to bring the nails into. It's not a bad fit. It's a very good fit, actually. Yeah, it's gone back very slightly. There. Yeah. Can you put a little wedge in, bring it out. No, I'll that? just just put sand that off. Okay. Ah. Make the two bits meet yeah, when it's dry. Okay, that's very really good. I'm liking that a lot. Well done. So, does it is the one on that side a little bit proud on the back yeah. here? Oh, okay. I suppose it just covers up that bit of leg so that you can't see it. it. Well done. And I'll film a bit more tomorrow once you take the brackets off, the clamps off. These got glue in. Yeah. Oh, right. Because it didn't squeeze much. Oh, I can see it inside, but it didn't squeeze much out the front, did it? No. Oh, yeah. I can see a little bit here.
It's not easy nailing into that wood, is it? No. So are they just pins to hold it in place while it sticks, or That's will it. you take them hammer out. those home? I should take them, take them out. Take them out, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> A little bit more to fill the gaps, yeah. So what is this you're using? Well, this is a French one. Patex. Bois. Poot. Oh, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> but it's got a broken leg on a chair on the picture, so I think that's the right stuff. Doesn't take me too long, is it? No. Is it all nicely stuck? You took stuck. the clamps off. Yes. Yeah, so that's all stuck at the end here. All stuck on here. Yeah, it's all dried clear, isn't it? Yeah. You can't see it in the joins. That's good. So, you're going to send this down and stain it then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then a piece of timber along the back? No, no I think I'm just going to make it. You're going to make two legs, are you? Yeah. Just to make it the same height, because there's 15 mil difference between the front legs and the back legs. Yeah? Yes. Are you going to put some of this on the back legs as well, or just the front, Tony? Just the this um, off cut from the, the vinyl floor in. <coughs> it's going to cushion the, the legs once it's upright. So oh, yeah, Tony has actually fixed a piece of the leftover piece of the vinyl flooring which we've used upstairs in the bathrooms. Um, it's very cushioned, and that's going to help. Once it goes the right way up, that's going to help it to stand level so that we don't have to prop things up too much and to take any pressure off of these pieces that he's mended. What's the next job? Extend the legs. The back ones? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Right, oh, that's not good, is it? Can't make another one of those, shall I? No. Is it going to do the same again? No, I should pilot through it. So take two in order to avoid it splitting. Is to pre drill. Pre drill a hole. That should avoid it splitting. Oh, it's getting some glue as well.
So is that the 15 mil difference on there? Yes. <coughs> it's quite a lot, isn't it? it so is. that must have just got eaten away over the years, mustn't it? Yeah. Yes. You can see the difference in height. Nailed it up with the front legs. Although to me it now looks higher, but you've measured it, haven't you? It's oh, just yes. a, an optical oh. illusion, isn't it? So we still can't turn it over yet, then, can we? Yeah. Oh, oh, I suppose because you've screwed those in, that will be stable, won't it? Oh, yes. But we need to stain it, don't we? Yes. <clears throat> And you just mended another little bit that was a bit loose. Then we're going to turn it over and stand it up. So, we need to get some stain to do the legs on here though, don't we, Tony? Yeah. Um, but this is where it's going to be going. That's the wrong drawer for it in the bottom there. This is where we've decided it's going to go. It's going to be very useful for us in here now, here in our lounge. So I can then use it for tablecloths and napkins and cutlery and things like that. And probably some DVDs and things as well. It's a lovely piece of furniture. But for some strange reason, they've given us an extra drawer that doesn't belong to it. So we will have to take that back. Oh, well, that doesn't fit very well. What's happened there? Long way round, is it? Maybe. Right, well, that fits better in there, but it fits better in the top one as well. Ah! Yes. That's a lovely piece of furniture. Oh yes, I don't even know how much Tony paid for this. Well, obviously you've had to do a couple of repairs to it. Um, I really don't know. Is it a couple of hundred euros? 130. 130 euros. I don't think that's very bad. I think that's actually quite a good price. It's a nice piece of furniture. So I know you've had to do a few repairs to it. Um... Actually, that other piece, does that go in the bottom, right in the bottom there? Oh, I think it does. I'm looking at, yeah, if you look down the bottom, there's two more rails, so I think perhaps that is a piece of it. So we've got five drawers. That's why it wouldn't fit, yeah, look. It's a secret drawer. Ah, that's even better, Tone. I'm impressed with that for 130 euros, which would be about 115 pounds. Not sure what that is in dollars. Um, probably about 150 dollars, 160 dollars. But yeah, what a nice piece of furniture and lots of storage. Oh. And it even locks. Yeah, I'm loving that, and I like where we've put it. That's going to be very useful. Right, now Tony's been out in the back here, 
um, pulling up all the white stuff that was over the weeds because he's going to stream it all down before we redo all the white stuff and put some of the stones down. You're doing well, Tone. What's that, brambles or stingers? Well, oh, right. Good time to chop them back, actually. I better grab myself some gloves, I think. Oh, I'll come and help. <laughs> 